you have predicted Kamala Harris's victory this election. Could you elaborate a little on what keys are working for her? You look at keys that are going against the White House party. And if six or more go against the White House party, they are predicted losers. Fewer than six, they are predicted winners. That's the easiest way to use the system. So here are the keys that count against her. My first key is the mandate key based on U.S. House elections. Democrats lost U.S. House elections in 2022. That key is false. One down. Uh, incumbency. Biden is no longer running. Sitting president is not running. Two down. Incumbent charisma. Now, to win this key, you have to be one of these once-in-a-generational, transformational, across-the-board appealing candidate, like Franklin Roosevelt on the Democratic side. Well, whatever you may think of Harris, she may be a good candidate, but she isn't established as a Franklin Roosevelt. That's three down. Then we have foreign policy failure. I count that against the White House party because Gaza is a humanitarian disaster with no end in sight. And we don't have boots on the ground there, but America's deeply invested. That's four down. The only other shaky key at all is the foreign policy success key. And I give that key to the White House party because it was Biden and Biden alone that brought together the coalition of the West that stopped Putin from conquering Ukraine and then threatening America's NATO allies. Biden's continuing support has enabled Ukraine to survive for over two and a half years and even make an incursion into Russian territory. This will go down as an historic uh, presidential achievement. So that's still only four down. Even if unpredictably, I don't think that's going to happen, it, you know, it's too soon. Something catastrophic should happen in Ukraine. That would only be five keys down, still one short of predicting Harris's defeat. So even under the worst case scenario, my system, which has been right for 40 years, predicts that we are going to have a new and path-breaking American president, that uh, Kamala Harris will become the first woman president of the United States, making a crack in the gas glass ceiling, if not entirely shattering it, and she will become the first president of mixed African and East Asian descent, kind of foreshadowing where America is actually going. We're rapidly becoming a majority-minority country.